morning, Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, opposing counsel. My client, Dr. Ashley Dorman, killed Philip Newton in self-defense. There you have it, plain and simple. You will not hear a word of apology from our lips during this trial. Mr. Newton was, a, was an artist. He may have been a man of talent, although the testimony you will hear will suggest that Mr. Newton used his talent to copy rather than to create. But what's at heart of this case is that, man, that Mr. Newton was a man with an explosive temper. And you will hear testimony that Mr. Newton was not afraid to threaten and bully people to get what he wanted. Dr. Doherty wanted to bring a very fine exhibition of Native American art to the New York Museum. The centerpiece of this exhibition was to be the painting by Pierce Tannell Appling, The Cherokee Rose. While Mr. Newton was working at the museum, my client offered a job to authenticate this painting for insurance purposes. Mr. Newton accepted the job, but then dragged it out to the point where an entire exhibition was placed in jeopardy. Dr. Doherty had no choice but to fire Mr. Newton and replace him with a qualified ta colleague, Talbot Berrien, who completed the task. Mr. Newton was furious at Doherty. He even vowed to his good friend, Forsyth Sparks, that he that this is not over. He's going to fix Dowry for good. This is just the beginning. Two days later, the Cherokee Rose was stolen from the museum. One week later, it was found in Mr. Newton's art studio. Well, because of the theft, the exhibition had to be canceled. And the relationship between my client and Mr. Newton was severely strained. They say that the best defense is a strong offense. And Mr. Newton went on the offensive. He started the vilest of stories about Ashley Dougherty and Talbot Berry. And you will hear that ruining other people's reputation was another trait of Newton's. On the night of the shooting, he told his friend Forsyth Sparks that he's going to go to the museum and have a little tough talk with Dougherty so that she can back off from him. About 8.15 PM, when my client was, work, that was at the museum doing some paperwork, Mr. Newton burst through the door, cursing and threatening Ashley at the top of his lungs. He grabbed her by the throat, took her out of a chair, and threw her against the wall, breaking the pictures and frames that were hanging there. Mr. Newton told Dougherty that, she, that he demanded her that she stop the theft prosecution. And when my client refused, he put his hand to his pocket and said, I warned you, Dougherty, now I'm going to finish this. Ashley Dowry would describe for you the malice and menace packed into those words, and how she was chilled to the bone by the realization that Mr. Newton had planned to kill her. At that moment, an immortal fear for her life, my client did what any self-respecting Georgian would do. She drew her revolver from her desk, closed her eyes, and shot at Newton. Now, the state of Georgia would try to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that my client did not act in self-defense. They would rely on a novice police officer, an inadequate autopsy, a convoluted theory about art fraud in Cherokee Rose to try to prove that Dr. Ashley Dari did not act in self-defense. You will hear from Taylor McIntosh, a former police officer with the Atlanta Police Department, who has considerable experience with homicide investigations. He will describe for you the shortcomings of the police investigation into this matter. You will also hear from Talbot Berry, the first person on the scene who will describe for you Newton's temper and Newton's history of violence and using intimidation to get what he wanted. And you will, of course, hear from Dr. Ashley Dowdle, my client. She's not required to testify here today because she does not have to prove anything. The burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt is always on the shoulders of the government. My client will describe for you how she was attacked without provocation, how she felt that her life was in imminent peril, and how she defended herself. Thus, at the conclusion of the trial, we ask that you return a verdict of not guilty on all counts. Thank you. Thank you. Your Honor, the state calls for any to stand.